welcome to uh, another edition of Crump Fitness. We got an interesting video we got to do today. So we uh, got our blood test results back and uh, we're really low on testosterone, testosterone like I figured. So we're going to do, uh, I'm going to go see uh, a specialist and we're going to look into some uh, testosterone replacement therapy. Um, the second thing was uh, low vitamin B12. So, um, I got a prescription for that and let's take a look at it. So what we have here is, uh, there's a 10 milliliter bottle of, uh, vitamin B12 and it has, has to be injected, uh, uh, intermuscular, intermuscular, intermuscular. So basically, yeah, you have to inject this into your muscle. So I asked the pharmacist for some syringes and, uh, why don't we do that, okay? Ugh. This is the first time I've ever injected myself. I used to get uh, no girlfriend of mine to do it for me, so this had to be interesting. <laughs> so we got, but I do remember the proper protocol for it, so it's just a matter of like jabbing the needle myself, right? So <laughs> time to man up, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, some alcohol swabs we're gonna need. Uh, we got some syringes. Um, they are a 25 gauge, uh, one inch needle, which uh, is uh, usually is pretty standard size. I think before when I used to uh, use anabolic steroids back, steroids back in the day, I believe I used a 23 gauge, uh, one inch, and I used a 23 gauge, one and a half inch for the injections on my uh, in my ass. Now you can do, you know, what you can do on the leg, you can do with the shoulder or the ass. You know, those are preferably injection sites you would go for. Since I have to do this by myself, uh, like I could go to the doctor and do it. But I want to see if I can do it myself, right? The less doctor visits I have to go to, the better. Because, you know, like for example, I was at a 9.30 appointment there today. And I was there at 10 to 10.30. So if I can avoid going to the doctors and do it myself, I'm going to do it myself. Um... What else do I want? Is that all I want to say? Okay. So yeah, we have to, the protocol for this is one millimeter or one cc once a week for five weeks. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can do this. So I'm going to go wash my hands first. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. We gotta make sure we uh, keep our hands clean, right? Oh, and then I just touched this, there you go. What do you want me to say? Yeah, dry with a cigarette. Okay, let's see if I can remember the proper protocol for this. What I'm gonna need is... Uh, need a box to set my stuff in. So we got that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna circle our injection site. So I'll flex my thigh. I'm gonna put it right on the top there. Oh, so I'll just circle that. There we go. Seems a little high. That's the thickest part of the muscle. Hope they don't hit any bone because that's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. I um this uh, friend of mine was a nurse. She uh, injected me once with an inch and a half needle and she hit the bone and let me tell you that fucking hurt like a motherfucker. So we shouldn't have any problem. Let's get this syringe out. Okay. The alcohol swabs are ready to go. Now, I have, um, yeah, he didn't give me enough needles. And I'll show you why he didn't give me enough needles. Because every time you uh, pierce the, 
the rubber stopper on the bottle. I'll show you guys this here. I'll take this top off. You guys can see that. There's a little blue top on that. We got to take that off. Okay. And if you can see there, inside of there is a rubber stopper. So you have to put the needle in to inject the liquid out. Well, first you put air in, then you inject the liquid out. And you're supposed to change the syringe. That way you get a nice, fresh, clean syringe before I inject it. But he didn't give me enough needles to do that. But I'll do it. Well, you, I have extra ones now, but then I'll have to get extra syringes. That is not, he didn't give me enough for the, uh, the protocol for the week. So we'll definitely have to get some more syringes because we definitely want to be clean and safe, right? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to swab the rubber stopper. This is, this is going to prevent any bacteria from getting on the needle. So we're going to just swab this area right here just to swab the top of that. Get that nice and clean. Make sure we don't touch that. Then we're gonna take a brand new, brand new uh, um, alcohol swab. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna use the same one. You always gotta make sure you always use a different one. Now we're gonna swab the area that we're gonna inject in. Okay, that's done. So now we're gonna take our syringe. What do you do with that damn thing? What do you do with it? Hello, where'd you go? <laughs> what the fuck did I do with that damn thing? I don't know. How the fuck do you lose a syringe? Should I put it down somewhere? Uh, I have no idea what I did with it. No idea. I guess we'll just get another one. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we'll take this syringe off. Now, it comes apart like this, just the needle from the syringe. Okay, it's this is a, a three milliliter, ah, three milliliter syringe with a inch needle, 25 gauge. So we're gonna screw that back on. Just screws on like that. And you pull the top off. Okay. Now the amount of liquid you want to draw into the syringe, that's where you pull it down to, so one milliliter. And we're gonna put that amount of air into the vial, that way it forces the air out, okay? So we'll stick that in there. We'll push the air in, and now we'll draw out one milliliter. There's one milliliter right there. Now we pull it out. Okay, I'm just going to tap it. Now we're going to put a new syringe on. So we'll take this one out. A lot of people will use the same syringe and put it right in. You want to make sure you change these needles, I mean. Okay, so we're going to screw that back on. And we're going to twist that off. Okay, get rid of that. And I'm going to get a new, brand new needle to screw on there. Oh. Take that off. Now we're going to put it back on. Uh, all right. Get the air out. Now I'm going to bring this to the top. Make sure there's no air in there. Okay. Now the moment of truth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in like a dart. Okay. You just put it in a dart. And then you're going to want to pull back on this range a bit to make sure you're not in a vein. Okay. If it's close, if it's. You pull it up and there's no blood coming up, then you're safe to inject it. So let's get this done. So we're just going to take our fingers and spread the skin. Okay, we dropped it into the leg. Now we're going to pull back on it a bit. Don't see any blood. Now we just inject it slowly. Ooh, that hurts just a little bit. And remove, okay? Now once you removed it, Get yourself a new swap, new uh, alcohol pad. Okay, let's get it out here. And swab the area, and that's all there is to it. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so uh, 
we'll see what happens with the uh, the uh, the meeting with the specialist about the um, about testosterone. Whether he might just want me to uh, make the changes to my lifestyle. Like I did a little breathing on it. Like I am working out already. Um, you know, I eat extra fats. There's things to do to bring your testosterone levels up besides getting testosterone therapy. So we'll explore that. It was pretty funny. The doctor asked me if, uh, if I had any libido problems. I said, well, I don't know. I'm not really with anyone. So I couldn't really tell you. I said, I wake up in the morning with a piss heart on, but does that count? So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But obviously the, uh, the low test is an issue. So at least we now know that when it comes to working out and what we're doing, if I start uh, next month, if I don't end up getting any testosterone therapy and I start training for mass, at least I know what my expectations will be for gaining size. So if the gains are coming as quick as I normally think they would, then at least I know why. That, that'll take a part in it. So we'll explore that option next month. And uh, I think that's about it. So if there's anything you, know, you guys don't understand about uh, um, the protocol on this, um, you know, just message me or by all means, just check online for yourselves, you know, cause, uh, I'm just one guy, you know, doing my thing and, uh, doesn't mean I'm always right. So go online, research it yourself. If you have any questions about what uh, I've shown here, you sh shown you here today. And I think that's about it. The uh, workouts are going extremely well. Uh, keto diet. Um, my body's still adjusting. I got severe dry mouth. Um, there's definitely a lot of fatigue involved. But I'm training pretty hard too. I'm trying to train up to five, six times a day, as you guys can see from the videos. I mean, uh, from the page. So uh, yeah, we're doing the best we can, and uh, we're going for it 100%. Going for it 100%. So hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you when I see you. Until I see you again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Crown bless you all.